Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick speed test between the um, beta version of the iOS 9.3.2 versus the beta version of the Android N, or you can say developer preview. Uh, we do have the latest developer preview too for the Nexus devices, so I have it on my Nexus 6P. So, uh, just for fun, I want to see, uh, check out their speed, you know, and, uh, and see what we can expect. Uh, how much improvement and all that so first of all starting off from booting both of these two phones up at the same time and uh, obviously uh, the Nexus 6P is using Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 uh, from last year of course uh, we might see a new Nexus phone this year uh, but here you can see even with the iOS 8.3.2 beta uh, the speeds of booting up is really fast and uh, so we're just going to wait for the Nexus 6P to boot up. And uh, obviously the Android N also takes time to boot up. Um, and I uh, can't really see any improvement as far as uh, booting up. So I'm just going to quickly unlock the phone. And let's take a look at these two phones side by side. So of course lots of difference uh, here and there. This is Android, this is iOS, closed environment. Uh, versus open customization world so uh, we can try opening up some similar applications so uh, phone dialer see pretty much equal we can also try opening up the let's see here settings you can see pretty similar performance uh, messaging versus messenger yeah add a little delay on the 6p um, clock where is the clock uh, we can also search on the 6p so here we do have the clock oops just want to do it one more time okay we go seems like the 9.3.2 the animations they become a little bit fast um, as far as I can tell here Instagram and you can see Nexus 6P performing slightly better loading up the feed iPhone is still um, loading up actually a little bit different feed uh, maybe I have signed up a different account there, but uh, but yeah, you can see that uh, both are pretty much usable. I think the Android N actually has a little bit more um, a little bit more buggy compared to the 9.3.2 beta version here. Um, but yeah, the Android N developer preview do provides much more new features, so I think it's kind of worth to try out. Uh, whereas the 9.3.2 is just a, a waste of time. You're not gonna see any difference. They have changed a little bit of. They have fixed a game uh, bug related to the game center. That's all. Um, we can also try opening up the cameras on both phones. So there we go. Yeah, faster on the iPhone, no doubt about that. And again, these both both of these versions are in beta stages. So maybe with the final stage, you we might see more better performance with the Android N. Of course, we surely will see better performance. And uh, we can also do a quick browsing test, Google Chrome versus Safari. So I'm just going to load some similar websites. All right, so first off is uh, WWE.com. Here we go. And uh, better performance here, faster here with the Nexus 6P. We can also try opening up this article. Here we go. Okay, really fast on the iPhone. But still, you can see the iPhone is kind of like glitched out there. It's not loading the full thumbnail of the video. It's taking a lot of time. But in the Nexus 6P actually loaded the full web. So next off is phonearena.com. Here we go. And uh, you can see faster on the Nexus 6P, I should say. Yeah, iPhone is still taking some time loading up the full website. Of course, uh, it's a big website, so... We can also try opening up this article here at the same time. And whoa, again the, uh, the Nexus 6P faster 
I have to say that the the Android N does improve improves the uh, browsing performance of the Nexus 6P. So far, it is the fastest one, and you can see that zooming in and out, you can't really see, uh, see any lag. Um, that's pretty amazing. It's really fast, and same thing with the iPhone. It's actually a public beta, so you know anyone can install it. So uh, one last website, which is going to be gsmarena.com. All right, here we go. Let's see here, and again, you can see um, the Nexus 6P seems to be slightly ahead, um, although it was really close. But we can also confirm this by loading up a specific article. So let's see here, this one. Okay. Hmm. The Nexus 6P came first, but I think both were pretty much equal in loading up the full content. But I think, yeah, the Nexus 6P does perform better here when it comes to browsing. You can also try to check here a little bit of the uh, multitasking or RAM management. So phone dialer. Well, no refresh there. And yeah, multitasking is great on both phones. I mean, Nexus 6P on Android Marshmallow performs really good. No issues whatsoever. Same thing you can expect with the iPhone also. And let's see here. Let's load some similar apps. Okay, photo versus gallery. Let's see here, Instagram. No refresh, so you can expect good performance. Even though Google says that you cannot use it, it's not recommended to use this as the daily driver, but still, it is pretty much usable. So, where is the settings? Yeah, no refresh. So, really great performance. Uh, I'm not touching any third-party apps, uh, not yet, because I think you, uh, we should uh, just uh, uh, stay with the system-based application because it is a beta version, so we might see some crashing and all that. So yeah, just a quick speed test between the Nexus 6P with the Android and Developer Preview 2 versus the iPhone 6S with iOS 9.3.2. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.